Uh, greetings everyone. I'm making a video about the time and about 12 year beasts. And um, today I would like to continue my um, talk about the uh, tiger number three. And in my previous video, I tried to explain that um, tiger is in position of a weapon, and uh, tiger represents a weapon, a firepower. But um, in this um, wish um, flag, I mean in Tibetan Mongolian wind horse flag, you can see four um, predators, which is a um, uh, Chinese um, uh, dragon, Mongolian fire bird, Hangarit, and Tibetan snow lion and the tiger. All these creatures are, you know, predators. I mean, um, of course, uh, Chinese can claim that their dragon is a vegetarian. Well, uh, you can say that all these uh, creatures represent a weapon, a firepower. Well, um, Mongol name for um, tiger is uh, Ba. And uh, the, there is a three meanings for um, tiger. And first meaning is, of course, tiger. Second meaning is uh, uh, wooden block printing. A third meaning is uh, uh, heavily industrialized. A, a country that is heavily industrialized or developed country is called a tiger. And uh, you can say that um, China, Korea, and Japan are tiger countries. I mean, Mongols call them as a tiger countries. But uh, we are lagging in behind, and our wish is to become a heavily industrialized and powerful country. So, uh, uh, let's talk about the words. And uh, Mongol name for tiger is bar. If you add uh, a, bara, uh, it, you will, uh, it will be become a word for use, and, and can. If you say it, para, uh, or it's written as para, uh, means um, manufactured goods. That's why the tiger is, stands for, you know, heavily industrialized country. It's, uh, you know, it, uh, manufactured goods. And, uh, it is believed that in a year of tiger, it is uh, good to start own a uh, factory, business, something like that. And word barong or baragun is uh, for west. And uh, somehow these westerners are heavily industrialized. And that's why it's, uh, you know, baragun. And uh, word barah or barho means, can you do it? And word bara means, uh, you know, uh, dark. And uh, of course, west is the place where uh, sun sets. And uh, uh, barong uh, is like a uh, right hand. And you uh, make business, you make, uh, you know, trade in the west. But, uh, you know, tiger is in the east. Why? Because time must go like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, something like this. So, um, this is number 1, this is number 2, and this is number 3. So, uh, tiger is in the east. And, of course, a tiger lives in a, in, to the north, Siberia, to the Manchuria, and, of course, to the, um, somewhere to the uh, southeast, something like that. So, uh, the tiger position is number three. And uh, many people know that um, number three is uh, number for Buddha. Uh, you know, number six is also a number for Buddha, but this three fingers is also a number for Buddha. And Buddha is believed to be a teacher of Trinity, a teacher of triple truth, a triple gem, and you know, everything that is three. And there is also claim that uh, Buddha rides a tiger. Well, uh, it may be a symbolic uh, saying, but uh, when you use your logic, I mean, uh, number three is, stands for logic and reality, you, uh, it's impossible to say that um, uh, Buddha is not riding an elephant, a donkey, or 
a horse, but he's uh, riding a tiger. And uh, because of this um, word, um, our, maybe our southern neighbor like to describe their boat of money with uh, a tiger. And uh, they also describe their Taoist god of money with a tiger. They are riding a tiger or they are riding some manufactured goods. But um, in order to make money, of course, uh, you will need a, a horse power. And uh, here in Mongolia, our currency is called Tugrik. And it is believed that Tugrik is, uh, means something that is round. And this is a one Tugrik. And this one Tugrik has a Tibetan snow line. And um, of course, um, place for money is number 12. Why? It is because um, this creature is fat. Uh, I mean, this creature has some fat reserve. And uh, this creature symbolizes some profits. And people usually keep their, um, you know, uh, expensive things and something that they harvested here. And uh, why are Mongols having a, uh, this Tibetan snow lion, not this uh, tiger in their money? Well, it is because of uh, Tibetan god of money or Tibetan boat of money. This Tibetan boat of money is riding, of course, the Tibetan snow lion, this white lion. And um, I guess the uh, Tibetans will try hard to explain why this um, white lion is related with money. And, uh, well, uh, for Mongols, um, you will need a horse uh, to make a business, you know, to make travel, to make something, and uh, to have new ideas, something like that. So, um, let's uh, return to our, the coat of arms of Mongolia. Well, uh, Mongols believe in an angel, flying angel, that is a white horse, but this uh, flying angel is a golden horse. Well, uh, that makes no sense. Well, uh, that's pretty much for today and thanks for watching.